What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sports Real. Today we're looking at five reasons why NFL players go broke. When the NFL draft begins tonight, all 32 first round picks might feel as though they are set for life, but not so fast. It doesn't always turn out that way. Sports Illustrated recently estimated that 80% of retired NFL players go broke in their first three years out of the league. How is this possible in a sport rolling in revenue with an average salary of almost $2 million a year? The median income in the NFL is roughly $750,000, and the average career span is less than four years. Most college graduates don't attain these levels of revenue in their first years out of college. Why are the athletes struggling? Number one, lack of competent financial planning advice. By now, tales of former NFL stars losing millions of dollars hardly surprise us. Many of the stories about these guys burning through cash to the point of bankruptcy are downright sad. Athletes are no different than any other college grads in that they were not trained as undergrads in budgeting, the tax system, and long-term financial planning. This is an area of specialized expertise and an athlete receiving large compensation needs a safety net of advisors. Upon signing a potential draftee, we encourage them to pick a qualified financial advisor with a proven track record. These advisors help the athlete put together a budget, follow mutually agreed upon strategies, and protect themselves legally. A community-oriented athlete will find beneficial relationships with businessmen off the field who are also willing to help. When players, university panels, and alums screen prospective agents and financial planners, it enables the athlete to make a better choice. But many NFL players are approached on campus by financial planners and agents who offer financial inducements to sign with them. Some financial planners ask players to sign power of attorney, enabling the advisor to make investments or withdraw money without prior authorization. This is fraud with Perel. The NFL Players Association has tried to protect players financially. They have a program that scrutinizes financial planners and only allows referrals to the planners who they approve. The NFLPA offers education in the financial areas in a variety of ways. The NFL holds a mandatory seminar for draft picks that also tries to warn and protect them. Some athletes do not avail themselves of any of these protections. At number two, supporting a village. Some athletes feel obliged to provide financial support to family, extended family, and friends. They are sharing their largesses with large number of others. At number three, divorce. Often cited as the number one challenge, divorce drains funds in legal fees and dissipates assets. The athlete ends up with half of what they earned and may have large and burdensome alimony and child support payments. At number four, lack of awareness of how rapidly a career can end. We learned former NFL superstar Warren Sapp has filed for bankruptcy. As Rebecca Jarvis reports, he's not the only big name who's gone broke. The athlete forgets that the current rate of compensation is not going to last and can be terminated by injury or skill at any point. Spending habits assume the revenue will be coming forever. This is why so many NFL players buy expensive products, cars, houses, or anything in general, which is not a good spending method. And finally at number 5, lack of preparation for second career. NFL players have long off seasons they can use to lay the foundation for their life after football. Some athletes do not give it a thought and end up missing the structure and direction that football has given them. The early retirement years can be non-productive. There are gifted advisors that an athlete can utilize. The league, NFL Players Association, and agents try and push athletes to use help which also embodies a teaching aspect that can empower awareness. But at the end of the day, it is up to the athletes to follow the guidance and save their money. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Sports Real. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.